Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I figured we could do a little diamond painting together today. I'm going to work on the letter O here. I've got most of all the beige ones done. So, uh, are you even in the shot here? Here, okay. Um. So today is a Sunday for me here, Sunday evening. I tried really hard to go to bed early last night because usually I can't sleep till two or three or later. But I went to bed at 11 because my girlfriend and I were supposed to go to church this morning. And the morning came and I just could not get myself motivated. So, I live streamed the church service instead. But most days I just find it harder and harder to actually leave my house. Like the only time I've left my house in the past month was to go grocery shopping twice with my son-in-law or my daughter. So, I don't know. I just just don't care for leaving my home. I really don't. I get anxiety. I get panic attacks. I, I just don't like it. That's two stuck together. So, <clears throat> I ended up my typical day, I get up, even though I stay up till three, I'll still be up in the morning. I might take a nap, but I do get up in the morning and I just have to take care of the, the birds and my kitty cat. I did a little cleaning today. I um, moved around. My futon was in front of the windows and I moved my workstation there and put the futon over where my workstation was because I had fallen asleep on it the other night and felt like I was going to roll right out the window because it was pushed up against the window. So I didn't like that. So I moved it and it took me a while to, I just kind of shoved it across the room with my legs and then I vacuumed and that took quite a bit out of me. So, tomorrow I have to, I've got to mop my kitchen floor, it really needs it, and my aid is not coming in until, I think, Tuesday. I was going to do it today, but moving the furniture and vacuuming both put me out, so I will do that tomorrow. I could wait one more day and she'll do it for me, but usually when she comes in, she um, does the dishes, vacuums. I think I got one of those new I bought um, the spin mop, and I like it. When it got mixed reviews on Amazon, some people loved it, and some people said it wore out and it broke too easily, but it's not like I mop in there every day. So, I do like it. I can just drain it out in the bathtub after so I don't have to lift it up into the sink or anything. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow and I also have to organize my bedroom clothes because I have the dirty clothes in the basket, the clean clothes, kind of on the floor in different piles of really clean, sort of clean, can be worn one more time, you know, the whole piles thing that we do. So, but I don't have a bureau here. I need to organize things because I'll organize it and then I'll need something from the bottom of the pile. And then everything gets all messed up again. So, I have to organize it put all my summer stuff away. What was I doing? Oh, so I think I'm going to switch to the S. Let's do this. 
touch up a little bit. Let's see my workstation now. It's just in front of the window. And I have my futon over there. So, I want to take a nap or something. I won't be falling out the window. All right. Now, I use the white one for this because it has the funnel on it. So, I put them in here. That's that. Now, let's see. What did I say? The S is a 729. Okay, so I do usually get kind of caught up. I gotta make sure I take care of the animals and the housework before I start watching YouTube or anything like that because that will be it and I won't finish my housework. Sorry, let me get you set up here. We'll do some of the S's right up here. So, what else did I do today? I worked, oh, oh Lord, I tried making a video. I made another slipper, and I, I actually want to make a nice actual set pair of slippers that fits nicely and I found that I'm going to have to make them about a good inch smaller than what it looks like I need because I've been measuring my foot but then when I finish the slipper it stretches or I just need it to be smaller so I made one today that was really small and it fit perfect and it looked really cute then I met, I went to make a matching one, and of course I didn't count my stitches. I just lined it up and it ended up too big. And I ran out of the same color yarn. So I am going to get the measurement, count my stitches, and try to make an actual cute pair. But because they do stretch, I suggest if you make, I mean, it's a very simple little pattern to do. And I, and I pinched the um, heel up and, and I sewed the heel on the inside so it looked a lot neater. And they came, it came out really cute, but I need to make two the same size and the same exact color. And so I'm going to do the first two rows white. Then the rest of it, whatever color I want, then the last two rows white. So that will be my border. And I'm going to measure it just to barely fit the length of my foot. Of course, then you tuck up the back heel part too, so it makes it even a little smaller. So it'll fit nice. Because I don't like to wear socks with my slippers, so I think maybe... Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to do that. And I think they should come out cute. You know, I've been practicing different different ways with the, um, with the heel and with the border and how to make it the best that I think I want it for me. And you can, you can follow someone's pattern or you can just putter around like I did and kind of find out what's best for you. I'm not real good at following patterns yet, especially crochet. With knitting, I am, I have been studying actually the knitting abbreviations because you just need those. And once you get a knitting pattern down, it should be simple and it should all go, go nice and simple. So I think knitting's actually a little bit easier when you're trying to follow a pattern, just for me and my personal preference. And can you even see what I'm doing now? So and I am making another 
a nice summery type of shawl, and I'm making a really big winter shawl because the other one I made is cute, but it's just not real big. And the other one I'm making for summer, and it's going to be like more of a wrap. What else am I working on? Hmm. Mostly I'm kind of doing shawls. I did blankets and scarves all winter, so now I'm more into the shawls. I don't know if my daughter would wear one if I gave her one, but she might if it's from mom, right? Is my camera, my hand's going right in the way. So, not too much to talk about today. Just uh, my neighbor's being nice. She's been still a sweetheart that she is, and we watched a little TV together the other day while her, her boyfriend was at work. And let me put this out. So, we visited for a little bit. That was nice. I My daughter's been sick with the flu. All the kids were and she didn't get it, and now she finally got it. Now that the kids are feeling better, she's sick. So, poor thing. Just about dehydrated, and her husband made her go to the doctor. Because by the time she finally went, they said, well, nothing we can really do. Keep drinking your liquids, and... So that's that. Everyone's that time of year, and they... I, believe they got their flu shots. I don't know. Poor kids. Everyone's better now, though. And hopefully, oh my goodness, hopefully. Today is Sunday, so Friday. My daughter and I are going to go and pick up the two little babies. The two and the three-year-old. And I cannot wait. We're going to have a sleepover at her house. And we're going to just have so much fun. I will be with all five of my grandchildren at the same time. I will be in absolute heaven. Absolute heaven. So, I cannot wait for that. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to get another tray for these. I'm going to start doing the J's. 3822. I can't wait till I get my other storage containers. I only have so many. I ordered 40 more, so I'll be all set. I'm going to do J. So, um, yeah, I can't wait because the older ones help out with the younger ones and everyone keeps each other company and plays together and it, it's just, I mean, we had such a nice time at Christmas. I can't wait to do it again. We do get together more. In the summer, because the kids can play outside and we can all be out there together. They can run around more, but we'll have fun. I can't wait. Hopefully I can do a video of all of them playing and show you my little five pride and joys I have. So I'm going to keep going on this. I'm going to get the yellows finished up, whatever these are, too. I got most of the beige out of the way. The boring beige. Now I'll do the yellows. Yeah, this is a full drill, too, so it should take a while. But everyone have a great evening or morning or wherever you are. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please hit, hit the like button if you've liked any of my videos. I really appreciate you being part of my family. God bless.